Hey, what's up? It's your boy here. Honestly, I was kind of disappointed with the last video because I mean, I, sh I know I showed you behind the scenes, but at the same time, I wanted it to be higher quality. But you know, I was recording this alone and it was not as easy. So this time we're going to be doing kind of the same thing, macro videography, but we're going to be not only making it higher quality, of course, but we're also going to have much doper ideas. So right over there, you probably can't see it. I'm gonna show you, we have this like cool little frugal setup going on. And <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna be trying out some new things and definitely gonna include less light leaks. Optical flares. Yeah, li light leaks, mm -hmm. no, I didn't use any optical flares no. there. So Rainy, explain what do we have here? What are we gonna be working with? All right, so we're doing a uh... Again, macro videography for Blu-ray watches. We have a couple of lights here. So we have an LED panel here, uh, and we are using a blue gel. Yeah, right? with a gel. We also maybe gonna try like red or something. We have a lot of them, so we're gonna just play around. And um, I also have this. It's a Godox Godox 8200 for flash photography, but it has this modeling light, so it's a, it's great to use as a backlight. And then probably we're gonna use our phones as like. An extra light to create those overlays. Lightly, well, not not lightly. It's not lightly. Ah. Yeah. And a Sony A6500 with an 85 mm lens, so it's gonna be juicy. As you said, I think first we're just gonna get the overall watch, and then we're gonna get yeah, to those mechanical gonna, details. Then we're gonna go close up. Yeah. All right. Let's get to work. Let's go. I'm trying to get it like stand up. I want it to be more angled this way. It's not as easy. Maybe like that. Get quite far with this. So as you can see, we have uh, composed the shot. It's looking pretty dope. I like it. We just want this kind of really cinematic feeling where show them the example where the light goes over the watch. Yeah, you can see that looks super cool. Uh, we already did a couple of shots like these here. I'm going to show you on the screen how they look like. Um, really cool. Rainers did a good job, but now it's time to get this to the next level. I think I'm, I'm going to under expose a bit because you want to save those highlights action yeah Ooh, that is looking good it's like looking like shining diamonds or something let's try again so yep we're just doing it by hand because we have no other choice but damn this this is looking pretty good i like it we need to clean the watch a little bit because we noticed it was kind of dirty yeah, when you're doing macro stuff, you can really see if it's dirty or not. That happened to my watch as well, like, it was a bit dirty, but I only noticed it in post, so you gotta be careful with this. Oh, better even better. Oh my god, how, what? <laughs> how did you manage that even? I don't know. Yeah, just shining this light on the watch now so we can focus on it. Oh my god, it's so shiny, like the gold thing is so shiny. I like it. I like it a lot. Damn, this looks so good. It literally looks like a professional... Ooh. What's what's better? This moment? Or this? I kinda like the sideways one because it's more minimalistic. Yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. I don't know if you can see perfectly, but check this out. Like he's doing this weird movement. And we're like getting these kinda little flare ah oh, we're not getting those flares anymore. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> Yes, that that's exactly what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is cool. That looks like almost a day to night change or something like that. Maybe can you put like a monitor so I can see what I'm doing? Sure. On this camera. I mean. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we can see better. We're going to be using this external monitor. Yeah, this should be way easier to operate uh, then because then two of us can move two lights at the same time or something like that. Then we can create some kind of like really interesting images. But ready? we need to mount this on. You can put it on that and then the, the chair like next to it on the boxes. Uh, yeah, yes we can. I mean, hey, it works. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Yeah. Damn, I want this. Oh. Oh, I love how I just recorded for three minutes without getting anything. As you can see, damn, the scene is looking really cinematic. Ooh. Oh, look at that reveal. Mmm, juicy. Oh, yes.
my boy getting serious. One thing I like about this little monitor is that all the colors look super cinematic. He's not even thinking about the woman, he's just doing it. Just do it. Or maybe... Or maybe... Maybe you can set this light down and move some of the other lights. I think moving two lights at the same time would look so cool, like so out of ordinary. <laughs> You're recording that, right? No. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm interested in some kind of liquids or... Liquids? That could be funky. Yeah. But uh, let's try like two-man light. Oh, ah, God. Damn. God damn it. Mm. But it's charging. Well, one of our lights just died. Yeah, maybe you can use the blue one. I can use the red one and we the can red? Off. I don't like the red that much. Really? Because... Uh, well, frame it. Because the watch is uh, golden and red sort of doesn't... I want to keep it like orange and teal for this one. Maybe for the other watch, which is like more silver, maybe for that it's mm. more reasonable to use, to use red. But what if we combine blue and red together? Maybe it's going to create some kind of a interesting contrast. But I'm going to keep that red pretty minimalistic. Yeah. I did also the sparklers on a, on a red gel, so I have two variants actually, but I like the blue better. Then again, like, we have to think about, you know, yeah, it's cool and everything, but we don't want to leave the impression that the watch is, let's say, red. <laughs> two guys, two lights. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this feels so cool. We won't do one. Three, two, one, go. All right, getting some shots, boy. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, after a good amount of coffee, we're finally feeling super energetic. So now we're just gonna be lighting up the candles, uh, making an interesting looking composition, which you can see here right now. I'm just gonna record, yes? So yeah. we, we can see the process and everything. And, you know, try some different things. For example, blowing off the candles or maybe just giving it a little bit of breeze so the flame swings. So yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our basically mission is to create as weird scenes as possible. Damn, this looks like we're doing some kind of a ritual, dude. Seriously, yeah. Getting a little bit of that texture in the boat. It seriously looks like we're worshiping a watch. <laughs> I'm gonna send this to the bureau, actually. Yeah, that looks that looks like we're worshiping some kind of a demon. Check this, yo, check this out. This clip is dope. Oh, you blew it off some. Oh no. No, I blew one off here, yeah, like... But that smoke that they created. Oh my Dude, God. imagine if both of us blow at the same time from <laughs> both... <laughs> from both, like, uh, sides. I think that's gonna create some really cool volumetric smokes. I wanna experiment with the lighting a little bit. Look at that. Because if you leave it from the... Uh, behind, if we blow off the candles, like, it's gonna create probably some little... Light rays. Yeah, it might be. I can, yeah, wait. Yeah. Right, three, two, one. Anyway, this is gonna be the take two, and this time we're gonna be doing the same smoke thing but in slow motion. One, go. All right, for our next performance, we're gonna be doing kind of the same thing, but this time the candles are gonna be in front of the watch. And as he's going to be blowing off the candles, all the smoke is gonna be in front of the lens, uh, not the lens, but the watch, and it's gonna look super cool. And for this time, all the light is already shining on the watch, so we don't need to use any cheap <laughs> iPhone, Samsung lights. So yeah, you ready to blow off? Okay. Three, two, one. All right, so I definitely have to say that this idea was a success and we managed to get some really cool shots. Yeah. Now, since this watch is waterproof, I haven't, we have an idea to put it in a glass bowl, which is transparent, and somehow try to get some, I don't know, bubbly kind of movement. And if not, we're just gonna be using trap code particular in post to, you know, add some bubbles. But yeah, yeah. yeah let's just see what we can come up, or come up with because I'm so excited. 
Look at this. Yeah. Oh my god. Flex it's scary. Flexes. All right. So, just in case the lens doesn't break, we're using cards to kind of hold it. And now we're going to be using this cone to pretty much to try to focus. Yeah. Really. Now the problem is we can't really, I mean, we, we can't guess the right exposure or anything because we need something to float in the middle so we can not only focus, I mean we did focus on if it's on aperture 4 right now but yeah, I don't know. Let's get a diffuser. Oh my god, nice. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Boom. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That looks dope. This is so not gonna work out, but we'll try anyway. Don't drop it, like put it right in the like in the middle. You know, don't need to drop it. Look, look at the monster. Right? Yeah. Oh, it looks cool, okay. Get the two, one. I don't think even 120 frames per second will catch this one. <laughs> oh my god! This party look at the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. So now we're basically just trying to get another setup here. Uh, if you're wondering why it's so glassy, it's because uh, we basically <coughs> smeared. Uh, how's it called in English? Wax. Especially. Yeah, wax. Wax all over the place, so the water base, so the water basically stays on the watch, you know. And I think it's going to be a really cool effect. I'm not sure if this is going to work out or not, but it seems pretty promising. So what are you doing there? Trying to sort of get a flattering light. How's it, how's it looking so far? It's pretty great. You just need to find a find a spot for it. Switch this over. Put it on a tripod. I'm probably gonna be so wet, but... It's kinda hard now, cause I have to be like above it, but then I can't go in frame. Two, one. Now with the previous experiment, you saw that it turned out pretty great. It actually felt like I was attending school again, you know. The next experiment is gonna be pretty straightforward, it's gonna be pretty simple, but it's gonna be just like a super cool looking static shot. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So it's just gonna be this watch inside of the bowl and we're gonna try to get some kind of fizzy candy, right? And put it in the water so it creates these like little cool sparkling bubbles or whatever and it's gonna look like well I hope it's gonna look like all those bubbles are gonna go from the bottom to the top and just the watch is gonna look so dope ah. 4k ball if only they would replace it, the B with an R, 4K raw. <laughs> now you just set up the lighting. Fuck yeah. Man, it's just like, everything we've tried so far just does not work. We have tried like three different ideas. No, I mean like the last three ideas, they just haven't worked at all. So anyway, the next idea is we're just gonna put snow next to the watch and gonna make like a kind of like yeah like a time lapse basically of how the snow melts so i think that's gonna look super cool and uh, yeah i'm actually excited to see how that turns out yeah i think it's time for another coffee
think that's already enough. <laughs> oh my god, that is definitely enough. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at that. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, just leave it be, dude. It's gonna melt eventually. House part number one. I think that's gonna look okay. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's gonna look cool. It's like all slowly gonna melt, and it's gonna create this like cool wet kind of a background. And to make this even better, we're actually not recording it all the time. We're just taking a picture every single two seconds, so it's gonna be kind of jittery. Yeah, well, it's not because it's uh, it's gonna be super smooth because the snow is melting really slow. Ah, uh, well, well, whatever. Now we need to turn on the heat. Yep. And maybe if you want to make it faster, we can use some blow dryer or something. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think this was a much better behind the scenes than the previous video, way more interesting, so you can just copy some ideas here and maybe can come up with something awesome and send me pictures or videos of what you came up with, Dream Duo Films on Facebook, so yeah, thank you all so much for the support, um, I really like to see that we are reaching the 2k milestone so quickly, anyway, yeah, thank you so much, I really appreciate it and you know the drill, peace out.